Time now, ladies and gentlemen, for the featherweights. Zachariah Zugari versus Abdallah Esbiri. Says he's motivated to get back playing the race. Punching left hook just shows that athleticism and explosiveness in Sugari. Sugari will make you pay. Nice like spinning kick there from Sugari. He's just a crowd pleaser with his style. What a battle it is here as we go down to the bell. Yeah, that's one of Sugari's best weapons is that switch left hand. Finally, Zugari lets his hands go at the end of the round and buckled Plunder for just a minute. The eyes are still on Bryce. He has shown great featherweight power with nearly half of his career wins coming by knockout. Here is Zakaria Zugari. A two-month training camp, two times a day, six days a week. He added a strength trainer. Says he's going to attack on different angles. As Fury will never see me coming. Zugari feels tonight he will be at his prime. Yep, and he's really motivated, and he knows that this is going to be a tough fight, and he even said it himself. He predicts this to be the fight of the night. He's explosive, he's aggressive, and he says his opponent is the same way. They're going to meet in the middle and throw good combinations, and even complimented each other's style, saying we both have good spin kick and we both have good combinations. He said either way, I don't want this to go the difference. Either I'm going to knock him out or I want him to knock me out. Fighting out of Rotterdam, the Netherlands, Zakaria Zugar. Barry's pulling out all the stops. And a straight right hand. What a spirited display, though, by his Barry. Has to be one of the best finishes I've seen to the body and Broder with that spinning back kick. Barry with the edge and connects with the left hand. And the pressure fighting is starting to pay off for as Barry. His spinning back kick liver shot here in Lyon sent shockwaves through his opponent and the arena. Here comes Abdallah Esbiri. Talk about a tough guy, as Beery, who's nicknamed the Lion, was shot in the face when he was 16 years old. He basically fought on the streets every day. But he said after that moment, he took control of his life, channeled all his energy into this sport, and here he is today, the number six ranked fighter in the world. And he became a spectacular kickboxer, and what he says he's really been focusing on this fight is his power. He wants to go in, he wants to get finishes. He's been knocked out by the champ, Pepenemarung, so he's really motivated to get a rematch with him. What a featherweight matchup we have for you tonight. Six versus seven. France versus Morocco. Esbiri, 33 years old with a 69-inch reach. That's three inches longer than Zakaria Zoukar. Professional experience, the edge going to the Frenchman, Abdella Esbiri, KO Power, Zakaria Zugari, and both have been in glory for some time. We've had six fights for Esbiri, and this is Zakaria Zugari's sixth glory fight as well.
my keys to glory for this belt for Esbiri. He needs to control the distance. He needs to control the rhythm of this fight. He's got to work on and land that power he's been working on and mix his strikes, use his kicks, his boxing, and his knees. Where Zachariah Zugari, he's good with his movement. He's got to mix the angles. And when he attacks, he's got to use that speed and aggression he's known for. And when he goes, he's got to put things together in combinations. This featherweight contest scheduled for three three-minute rounds. Introducing first, fighting out of the black corner. His triumphant debut in 2017 was a finalist for fight of the year. His professional record, 31 wins, five losses, one draw, and 15 career knockouts. He stands five feet, seven inches tall, 1.70 meters, and he weighed in at 142.4 pounds, 64.6 kilograms. Fighting tonight out of Morocco. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Zakaria Zugari. His opponent opposite the ring and fighting out of the white corner, a three-time French, two-time world champion. His record, 47 wins, 14 losses, one bout scored even, and 14 career knockouts. At five feet eight and one half inches, 1.74 meters, he weighed in at fight time at 141.8 pounds, 64.3 kilos. Fighting tonight out of Lyon, France. Ladies and gentlemen, here is Abdallah Esbiri. And your referee is John Axwell. Guys, you don't know the rules, so break is break, stop is stop, okay? Get ready, folks. This could be, could be a great one. Both men vowing the fight won't go the distance. And fight! Scheduled for three. Zachariah Zuccari in the Step black back. gloves. Abdella Esbiri in the black. And right away, they want to dominate the center of the ring. There's that swinging they talked about. Let's fight. Esbiri's last fight Great here in Lyon was ended in just seconds, a spinning back kick to Leo Pinto. Esbiri told his fans, who were complaining that he did it too quick, he tried to stretch this one out at least a minute. One for one. Kick versus punch. Good body kick for his beery. Oh, oh that's right hand. hand. He caught him. Zugari caught him. Break. Look at that oh, speed right. Zugari's got in his hands. Boy, as beery for a moment looked like he was about to go down. Break, step back. Zugari has been working with his strength trainer. He said he'll be much more powerful tonight than when we saw him last a year ago. I like that Zacharia is really mixing levels with his punches, investing in the body, then going upstairs. You see Zugari mixing the jab to the body, and that's gonna set up that overhand right he landed. His beer, his chin's a little high and his hands low, and Zugari's getting close with some of those power punches. Yeah, Zugari's focusing on his boxing, his beery with his low kicks. Yeah, Zugari's no known for his low kicks too, but he's walking into some big punches. Ooh, spinning back fist for Zugari. <laughs> Answered by his beery. Good pressure now from Esbiri. Look at Zuccari dodging, and now he spins out of there. Yeah, can't get too confident again, Esbiri. Boy, these guys are going toe-to-toe -to -toe just like we hoped. And that right hand right now from Zuccari is the best strike. Oh, and he's wobbled again. Esbiri oh! to go it down. Zachariah oh! Zuccari just Two, knocked down the line. Three, four, five, six, I don't think Esbiri is getting up. Eight, Beating Abdella Esbiri in his hometown. He looked incredible. 
simple. He makes the body really well, and that's why he was rewarded with that finish. He punched in combination, changed levels, and just looked spectacular. New and improved. Welcome back to glory, Zakaria Tsukari. And just as promised, Zakaria Zugari went right after it, looked aggressive, mixed the body well, and then just got that finish. Overhand rights, left hooks, slipped the jab, called him on. Flying knee into the right hand, and continued to follow with his combination. It looked like the knee started it all. Yeah, it's just that momentum. He didn't throw that knee and stop. As Beery was exiting, continued with that right hand, left hook, right hand and then just got that one, oh. two, three, finish. Beautiful, punch in combination, you get rewarded. As Beery complaining that it would stop too, too soon, but there's no doubt about it, John Axwood made the right call, and Zakaria Zugari with his 16th professional knockout. It was as good as advertised, and it didn't even see the second round. We'll make it official and hear from the winner when we return to Lyon. Glory Kickboxing is the most action-packed fight sport on the planet. Legal strikes are punches, kicks, and knees. Regular bouts are three rounds, championship bouts are five, and each round is three minutes of action. Outfight your opponent for 10-9. Knock them down for 10-8. In a normal bout or tournament final, three knockdowns in one round or four in the entire bout, and the fight is over by TKO. In a tournament semi, two knockdowns in one round or three in the entire bout, and it's all over. Or you can just knock your opponent out. Sweeps, elbows, and grappling are not allowed. Clinching is okay if you follow up with a knee. Glory rules are designed to bring non-stop, fast-paced stand-up action. To find out more, go to glorykickboxing.com. I'm here with the number two ranked middleweight in the world today, Donovan Visa, getting set to face off against Jason Wilness. What are your thoughts on that matchup? Uh, it's going to be a hard, a hard match. Uh, Jason is a strong opponent. He always keeps the pressure, always come forward. Strong leg kicks, hard punches, but uh, I'm going to be ready for him. Your last fight was an outstanding performance. Uh, you dropped Yusri Belgari, I believe, in round two, ended up getting a unanimous decision. How did you rate your performance that night? A uh, little bit, uh, let's say a seven. Because, seven? Yeah, seven, seven. Uh, I'm hard on myself. You know, I was glad with the victory, but I really wanted to knock him out because uh, all the things he said. But uh, I, was, I was happy with the victory because I got him in a head kick. You know, we've already learned that you're, a, you're basically a knockout artist. Are you going to knock out Jason Wilness tonight? I'm going to try my best. I'm going to try my best. Good luck, my friend. Thank you very much. Still trying to catch our breath here in Lyon after what we just witnessed. It was lightning in a bottle. Zakaria Zugari versus Abdella Esbiri. Tim Hughes now will make it official. Ladies and gentlemen, you watched it as it happened. This bout comes to an abrupt end with an official time of 2 minutes 25 seconds of that very first round and ends by knockout for your winner, Zakaria Zugari! Your winner, Zakaria Zugari, showing a lot of respect. Let's hear it for both gentlemen. 
Zachariah. You predicted fight of the night. You predicted a knockout. How are you feeling after this win? Tu t'attendais au combat de la soirée. Tu t'attendais à un chaos. Comment tu te sens après cette vie de performance? Uh, I had a very uh, tough training camp. So uh, first of all, I want to thank my family, my trainer Khalid Chinov, the guys from Elite, my strength trainer Jordan, and uh, what can I say? It's just a relief, you know. To win the fight in the first round in a knockout, there is nothing greater for a fighter. J'ai eu un camp d'entraînement très difficile, donc je remercie mon entraîneur, ma famille, et à ce point-là, c'est juste un soulagement de gagner par KO au premier round. Now let's take a look at that knockout. Look at the screen there, and take us through what was going on in your head. You came out really aggressive with your boxing. Alors on va regarder ton KO. Est-ce que tu peux nous en parler? Uh, yeah. Like everybody, like every fighter know, it's it's a game where each fighter competes, you know, trigger each other, and we triggered each other in the first round, like everybody saw, and uh, yeah, my, my my punches, I know them very well, and uh, my training partners also. So I think Abdullah by now also, he thought he could uh, he could still fight, but it was end. You worked on your strength and conditioning on that fight. Is that where that power came from? Yeah, of course. You saw the strength today. And uh, like I said before, I felt very good. And uh, as soon as possible, I'm going to hit the gym again and uh, reach out for the belt. Oui, vous l'avez vu, j'ai très bien travaillé ma condition physique. Et quand j'ai touché, ça a marché. J'espère revenir très rapidement. What would you like next coming after this amazing performance? Qui voudrais-tu après cette magnifique performance? Uh, first of all, I want to enjoy next this fight, my uh, my fight. I will celebrate it, and uh, after that, I will hit the gym, and uh, I will train harder than uh, before. And uh, the mission is the same: the belt. Je vais prendre du repos après ce combat, prendre du plaisir, et ensuite je vais m'entraîner comme jamais. Il n'y a qu'une mission: la ceinture. Leon, let's hear it for your winner. Zacharia Zugari. There you have it. And I've got a feeling we'll see Zacharia Zugari versus Adela Esbiri again somewhere down the line. At least I hope so. Well, coming up later, it is.